Stanford University. Electronics can do remarkable things in the body. Examples are pacemaker and deep brain stimulators. But we need to make these devices as small as possible in order to implant them easily in the body. In current medical devices, battery is the largest part of an implant. To make the battery smaller and to extend its lifetime, we can power them wirelessly. Conventionally, electromagnetic power transfer operates in the near field to avoid the interaction with biological tissue. But power cannot reach small devices deep inside the body. As a researcher in wireless technologies, I'm very interested in knowing how electromagnetic fields interact with the biological tissue. And we discovered that there is a sweet spot in between the near field uh, where electric toothbrush gets the power from and the far field where we have the wireless communications. So we call this sweet spot the midfield. To implant medical electronics in the body, they need to be made as small as possible. Most devices are powered by batteries which are very bulky. To eliminate them, inductively coupled coils have been used to wirelessly transfer power. However, the electromagnetic field decays quickly, requiring large receiving coils. Midfield wireless powering overcomes these problems. A flat structure interacts with tissue, inducing propagating waves that converge on a micro device implanted deep in the body. A micro implant consisting of a power harvesting coil, integrated circuits, electrodes, and fixation structures, all packed into a device the size of a grain of rice, can now be implanted and safely powered almost anywhere in the body. With this power transfer method, we can miniaturize the last thing that makes medical devices so large, which is the battery and make it about the size of a grain of rice. We can power it uh, nearly anywhere in the body, including the heart or the brain. Using integrated circuit technology, we can stimulate nerves, put sensors inside the body, and even deliver drugs while keeping the device about the same size. The miniaturized device could be placed directly at a nerve bundle. It could be programmed to stimulate or sense electrical signals passing along the nerve. These tiny wireless devices could treat a broad range of diseases such as Parkinson's, depression, epilepsy, heart failure, and chronic pain. Midfield wireless powering may open new avenues for electronic medicines that restore or augment physiological functions with lower risk, less side effects, and greater therapeutic benefits. I hope this technology will provide a step towards a new type of medicine where diseases can be treated by uh, electronics rather than drugs. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.